advanced talks, medicals, booked and deals about to complete. All that and much more on the Football Terrace Done Deal Show today. We have updates from David Ornstein, Fabrizio Romano, and of course the big pursuit of Andre Onana for Manchester United as the bid is reported to be coming in today. Updates on Rice, Mount, Soberslai and much more. Hit the like button. Turn on the bell notification button as well. Very important to the terrace that you do that. A thousand people did it yesterday. So join them and make sure you miss no more of our videos. Let's go. gone quiet for about 24 to 48 hours on the Declan Rice deal and a lot of Arsenal fans are asking what is going on why the delay why do we not know what's happening why has there not been a formal announcement between the clubs but it's quite simple we know the agreement has been reached for 105 million we know the structure has been thrashed out it's now the legalities around it the boring paperwork of course Declan Rice himself is also on holidays so the club clubs very sometimes you get a bit of a holding message from a football club that we've made a deal and it will complete in due course, but not always. Arsenal want to ensure all the legalities, all the documentation goes through. There's no problems, and then on top of that, they will complete a medical with the player who is currently on his holiday. Now this is the exact same scenario with Manchester United and Mason Mount. The deal is now agreed fully. Lawyers are now working on the paperwork for it to be signed, but the player is currently on his annual leave. He's away. He'll return to Manchester. He'll return as a Manchester United player. He'll be there for the start of preseason because he wasn't an international, and that is why there is a slight delay on the Declan Rice situation because he's not even going to be returning when Arsenal return to their preseason because he was part of the in- England contingency that played international football. So, look at the end of the day. He's on holiday. The medical will likely take place at some point next week. There is no rush from Arsenal. This is just where Gooners need to be really patient. And very much the same with Mason Mount. Now, I know there's not, uh, there, there are some, I would say not a lot, there's some Manchester United fans who are unhappy with the move for Mason Mount. But if you've read the reports this morning, you will see categorically, openly stated that this is a player the, the manager, Eric Ten Hag, is desperate for, rates very highly, and believes will elevate Man United to another level. Now, you can have reservations over that. You're absolutely meant to at times. You're meant to, we're meant to keep our club honest. But I back my manager, and there's a part of me that's excited to see what this man does. Now, he is delayed in the same way. The England international is set to go through his medical. It could happen the latter part of the weekend, but it's highly likely to be the early part of next week, according to reports this morning. So when it comes to both of those those deals, it's very much about Man United fans just being patient. The club are now going to start working heavily on other transfers and exits away from the football club. So it's very much a case of watch this space. I want to know what you think below, though. Give us your comments about the completion of those two deals. Hit the like and the share button. Remember to follow us on TikTok as well. If you haven't done so already, there's a QR code on the screen or link in our description below. Now, a big bit of breaking news today comes from Fabrizio Romano and David Ornstein. And it circles around the very talented midfield player at RB Leipzig, Dominic Slovislav. Now, it's very advanced and progressing into the final stages. We got, first got wind of this deal a couple of days ago, and it's picked up fire ever since. Since that point, it's caught fire. Liverpool have accelerated on this very, very quickly. And of course, when that David Ornstein dagger comes in, people typically listen. And what he stated this morning, and I want to read this out to you, is uh, Liverpool are pushing ahead with a deal to sign Dominic Slobosly. Uh, look difficult, but the dynamics have shifted. Newcastle out of the race. Liverpool have beaten him to, to them. Uh, now appears Liverpool confident it can get done amid talks with RB Leipzig over uh, Fabio Carvalho. Uh, are set to complete today. So there's not, it's not a swap deal. They're very, very rare that two deals 
are they can be parallel to each other but they're very rarely is there like an intertwining however you can use the time you're with leipzig to have those discussions etc build those relationships and move things forward and on from there now this is a very talented midfield player that there is no doubt about it he's highly talented highly regarded and it's typical liverpool for everybody to be talking about Turam, everybody to be talking about Kone, and one of those deals may, may still happen. But have we just witnessed another Liverpool smokescreen? We'll throw your attention to the right, but we're actually working out on the left. They're very good when it comes to sleight of hand. When is it sleight of hand or sight of hand? Sleight of hand. I actually don't know. I've just said that saying. Is it sleight of hand? Maybe I'm wrong. Slight of hand. Sorry, I'm terrible. Awful. Sorry. I said it and was like, that doesn't sound right. But yes, they're very good at that. They're very good at that Liverpool. And they, they're they a master. Through the centre way. They've not, again, and I think it's only become more public because Newcastle got themselves involved. And I wonder how Newcastle feel because it's now Madison, who they were in for, that's gone to Tottenham. Now Dominic Slobosly, who is, they were looking at, he's now gone to Liverpool. And this is what Newcastle are going to have to compete with now that they're, sh they're shopping in the, they're shopping in Waitrose. You know, they're not shopping in Quicksave anymore. So there's more competition for less products at the higher end of the spectrum, you know? And look, it's going to be intriguing to see where he fits into the system. I want to know what Liverpool fans think. Where do you believe he'll play? Who's he replacing? What role will he get? I want to ask, ascertain and understand and digest what you think personally about this but it's a very good piece of business it looks very much as though it's going to happen it's one of those deals where once you've got Fabrizio and Ornstein saying it's advanced unless Liverpool walk away or he fouls a medical it looks to be an absolute done deal so let us know your thoughts and feelings in that comment section below and what you think about it now another big update today it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Andre Onana and I say that because the Italian press is all over this. The Italian media are adamant that today there will be a bid. The clubs are meeting in Ibiza. There will be an official bid. And this is coming from all and sundry in the Italian media. You can't get away from it. There are umpteen reports from different newspapers, different journalists, and they're really, really pushing hard. Now, the British media has now picked up on this. Ben Jacobs has stated that Man United will hold formal discussions with Inter Milan for Andre Onana. Inter hoping a total package is close to 60 million euros. Sources indicate United view is that it's too high and will pay uh, and will play in on the fact Inter need income. So you've now got British journalists as credible and as highly rated as Ben Jacobs talking about this. David Ornstein said that Man United are in talks. So typically when the news transfers from the Italian media to the British media, Man United fans become a bit more trusting in that it may happen. But I want to point something out to you because I think it's really key in terms of you digesting transfer news. The same media outlets that are stating this deal is happening and bids are coming are the same people that said Man United were going to sign Kim Min Jae or Kim Min Jae agreed to join Man United. So some people will say, I can't believe the Onana deal because they got the Kim Min Jae deal wrong. And it doesn't work like that. I believe them that Kim Min Jae was up for joining Man United. He just changed his mind and moved on to Bayern Munich because they wanted him. And he decided that that was a better place for him. Now, the British media may not have reported on the Kim Min Jae stuff because they may have been briefed directly by Man United, not by Napoli, that, look, we are looking at him and he may be agreeing, but we've got a horrible feeling he's not going to sign. So can you please not print that? We know that that's how journalists operate sometimes. So, and that's one reason. So I, 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 I'm saying this to you now, don't disbelieve the Italian press because one deal they claim to be close or maybe happening did, fell through because you can go and find examples of the world's best journalists who say a deal could happen, a deal looks advanced and it falls through. So I want to shout that out because the British press are going to get the plaudits for breaking the Onana news when it actually came from the Italian outlets. And I do like the originators to get their credit. But aside from the media side of the, the things, very excited about the prospects of Man United signing Onana. In my opinion, one of the best goalkeepers in Europe, one of the best goalies in the world, and he will be transformative for Manchester United in terms of how we play. 
Uh, there's also another report here from a journalist whose name is Fabrizio uh, Brazin, who, you know, very well followed on social media. He claims Man United and Inter will meet today. Inter will ask for 80 million, uh, sorry, 50 million euros plus bonuses. Grazia Italia say that they are meeting in Ibiza and a bid will come in today. Um, and Fabrizio, um, Fabrizio Romano actually says here, the face-to-face talks between Man United and Chelsea um, for Mason Mount took place in the USA of all places, um, which, which randomly was on my feed just as I was reading that. And it's irrelevant to the Onana thing, but I said it anyway. <laughs> uh, but there we go. So there's your news for this morning. Arsenal fans remain relaxed about Declan Rice. There are no problems. It's all formality now. Stay patient. The same as Mason Mount to Man United. Slobber slap on his way to Liverpool. Deal advanced. Deal advanced. Massive update on that one as well. And of course, Onana. A lot of people asking about Timber um, in, in, in my DM today. Terry, can you give us an update on what's going on there? But if you read the, the reports on what's going on, a bid is expected imminently for him as well. The verbal agreement is reportedly in place. That's been re- that, that has been stated by a number of top, top journalists. So again, patience is key. But remember, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications as well. Really important to us that you do that. Get those bell notifications and push messages turned on. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.